Are you somebody who got an Amazon Echo? No, I've been curious about it, though. Okay. Well, it's been very popular. The Echo is the personal assistant that can make your day-to-day -day life a bit easier. It can turn on lights. It can start a playlist. It can answer questions for you. It can order things on Amazon. Um, you can give it a voice command, and Alexa does what you want it to do. But does it threaten your privacy? That's one of the big questions going around with that. So we brought in tech expert Shelly Palmer to talk about that. He's brought one in and to explain just how this thing works. That's Alexa. This is an Echo Dot. It has Alexa in it. Oh, okay. okay. They're not the same. It's not. Alexa voice service is the underlying technology that makes the Amazon Echoes listen to your voice. There's two technologies in there. There's automatic speech recognition, so it knows what you're saying, and then natural language understanding, so that it can understand you. This is just like having a regular keyboard and typing in a request in Google, except you use your voice. And it's connected to Amazon, so just the way you could type a uh, command and go, Amazon, I want to order whatever. You say, Alexa, and I'm not doing it to anybody right now, <laughs> Alexa, that's the wake word, and then whatever you say, I want to order or whatever. I, thousands of Alexas just woke up all over that are listening. Well, good way. morning to all of them. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so though it stands to reason that if by one word you can wake up the device, it's always listening. It is always listening, and it it stores about sixty seconds of what happened in the past, and then restores the next sixty seconds. It's always waiting for what is known as a wake word. It comes default Alexa because it's anthropomorphized and it feels like a wonderful person. You could also set it to Echo or Amazon if you want to make it more like a machine. It waits for that word. Then it transmits just a fraction of a second of sound before and then whatever you've asked it to do. So if I say Alexa, temperature. It just takes a fraction of a second, okay. and then everybody just got the weather I was report. Say, everybody everybody heard just that got it's 40 degrees right now. Everybody <laughs> just got the weather report. Sorry, Mike Woods. Everybody just got the weather report that has an Amazon Echo. Can it be hacked? Look, we live in a world where anything can be hacked. Everything that exists can be hacked, but I don't think that's going to be the issue. One of the questions everyone has is, well, if it's always listening, is right. it the NSA? Is it Big Brother? It's listening locally, so the device records internally until it hears its wake word, then it takes a fraction of a second of audio and sends it out to Amazon. Theoretically, there's 60 seconds of audio in here, and I guess theoretically you can hack anything, but it's not really likely to happen. They've gone to great lengths to keep that stuff local. Now, the skeptics among us, and I've had hundreds of people ask me, I've got a good writing at ShellyPalmer.com called Just How Dangerous Is Alexa? People say, well, is the NSA going to listen? Is a spy going to listen? Is my boss going to listen? Will a hacker listen? I can't definitively say no, but it's probably not what's going to be going on just now. Now, Amazon makes the Echo. Google is coming out with Google Home. You've got a lot of voice assist. All, most people have voice assist in their car. A lot of people have Siri. People who work for Microsoft have Cortana in their phone. That was a joke for the Microsoft people. So ultimately, thank you for laughing. So ultimately, there's a lot of voice recognition around our mm -hmm. world. This is just getting a lot of press because it's inexpensive. You can set it up to make the lights in your house work. And you how can, does that work, Shelley? So if you've got any kind of uh, Internet of Things stuff, if you've got one of those Philips U sets, or if you've got uh, Nest thermostat, or if you've got any of this uh, connected or smart home devices, got it. you got can it. just, just like you could um, set a keyboard to do it or an app to do it, basically, if an app can make it work, Alexa can make it work. And that's the thing you just got to remember. It's just using your voice to command the world around you as opposed to going to a keyboard or going to an app. The thing is, it's way faster. You can speak about 165 words a minute. You can't type anywhere near that fast. No. But Shelley, there have been stories recently of crimes that have been committed across the country where there's concern about maybe even uh, subpoenaing these yes. things or perhaps that there is some sort of audio data on this device that could be useful in a court case. So forget about the NSA listening to you. Yes. What if a crime occurs in your home? So look, a court of competent jurisdiction can always get a writ and subpoena you. That is absolutely right. The question is how much data is actually available. If you remember the iPhone case, yes. Tim Cook didn't want to break the iPhone. In the San Bernardino massacre. Exactly. And Amazon has no interest in giving this data up unless it is, you know, unless it receives a, a subpoena that's appropriate. I, is this available? That's a big question. Because this records, that 60 seconds that it records, it's all your little mumblings and the kind of sequestered conversations that you do not know are being recorded. At the moment, that's not what's happening. And I don't think it's going to happen. Is there a danger? I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Right. But of course there is. And now, can the police in that case in Bentonville, which is the one you're talking about, where the police want to know, hey, what happened in the 60 seconds before the gunshot or what happened in the 60 seconds before we heard the scream? Amazon doesn't keep that. 
So it's not there to give to the police. Therein lies the question. Could this be set to do that? Of course it could. Um, will that all happen? This is a good time to talk about it. Amazon's Alexa is not dangerous. Google Home is not dangerous. Buy them, don't worry about the spying. But let's keep a good dialogue going because at some point, the data in here is going to be very valuable to someone. And we want to make sure as a society that we talk about it you know, loudly and quickly so we know. All right, Shelly Palmer, ShellyPalmer.com. But, but don't be scared. ShellyPalmer.com, great place to read about this. I don't this. want that thing listening to what goes yes, on. Yes, you do. This is so much fun, I can't tell you. It is so much fun. I think we have different definitions of fun. It makes you feel like you're magic. You go, hey, <laughs> Alexa, I won't say it. Alexa, do something, and it'll, it'll do it. Alexa, make sure you keep your channel to Channel 5. <laughs> Turn the TV to Channel 5. Good to see you, Shell. All right. All right come and go.